This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Mackenzie Jim Marbury. We're at your call. I'm joined by Spencer, the knowledge fearing. How are you, sir? I'm, I'm blessed, highly favoured, and uh, all the better for seeing you, Coogan. How are you doing? It's a nice comeback to the intro. Um, no, so little Sky Sports badge hanging off your uh, top of your... Well, well, we are blessed to be at Sky. Um, we're blessed for the platform, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I think they're blessed to have someone that can speak it how, how I seek it. Right, I'm going to ask you a question. This probably will take up most of the, <laughs> the running time on this. Can Chris Eubank beat Golovkin? Yes, he can. And that's the truth. Um, on, fi on fight night, whatever happens was to go and happen. But we have to be realistic here, right? And being realistic is like, of the opponents that um, Golovkin has fought, I don't think nobody really, truly, truly wanted to go and fight Golovkin. And I'm a big believer in mental aptitude. And he's got that I am. And anything you put after I am, you can become. So he has a fantastic chance of causing an upset. Whether he causes the upset, that's the million dollar question. Like, and even though it's a million dollar question, most people will be betting against Chris Eubank Jr. To, to not. But because he's speaking things into existence, he and his father understand the power of now. You know what I mean? That means no opportunity wasted. They understand his power. It's, it's, it's deeper than boxing. So as much as we think it's a foregone conclusion, he's going to go out there and get knocked out. I'm telling you, he's got a fantastic shot because he throws 90 to 125 punches around. That's big, high intensity work rate. We don't know if he can take it on the chops, but when you speak to um, first guys in the game, like Carl Frotch, George Groves, who he sparred with, they turn around and say that Chris Eubank Jr. can take it on the chops. And if you're taking it from the chops, on the chops from a legend in Carl Froch and was giving Carl Froch a rumble in spa, we don't know how it could go. As much as we want to say, that, oh, well, he's crazy for taking it. No, he should be commended for having the, the gall and the audacity to say that I want to take this fight. And not only that, he's got Ronnie Davis in his corner, um, who was his father's trainer. And Ronnie Davis is saying, look, I'm not getting gassed up. We're getting gassed up over punching power a bit too much. When we're looking on somebody like Chris Eubank uh, fighting Golovkin, we're looking at Golovkin's punching power. I don't think that Golovkin had the same magnanimous punch power like a Julian Jackson, who was a uh, um, world middleweight champion and light middleweight champion back in the early late 80s and early, late 80s and early 90s. So give the guy, listen, give the guy a break. I should, we should all get behind um, English Junior, I'm calling him from now on. We should all get behind him because he's saying, look, I want, I want to fight the best. So be commended for that. And has he got a chance? He's got a hell of a chance because he throws so many punches. We've never seen someone jump on Golovkin to try and give it to him. But all said and done, if Golovkin hits you on the chin, he's going to knock you out. Yeah, you're talking to Eddie Earn, he says that after the Tom Doran fight, which isn't a given, he's got to get past Tom Doran first on Saturday. If the Eubanks are serious about this fight, it will get made. So the ball will be ultimately in their court whether they really want to take this fight on or not. Okay, but I'm telling you this now, I speak regularly to Chris Eubank Sr. And they are deadly serious about taking this fight. It's not a joke, it's not a gimmick like, oh yeah. No, he's saying, look, we're gonna, if we're gonna, if, we're, if, if for instance, if we're gonna get beat, let's get beat for the most money in the most biggest, highest profile fight out there. If we're gonna get beat. And if we're gonna win, let's win in the biggest, highest profile fight there is out there. There is no bigger name in the world middleweight division right now than Golovkin. People are running away from him. And this kid should be commended because he's running to him. Okay. All right? Okay. Bless. Thank you very much. All right, Coogan, I keep doing what you're doing. I love seeing I film everywhere. I love seeing James everywhere. You guys just keep on doing what you're doing. Remember, you guys have spoken things into existence. I remember years ago, we're going back six years ago, when, you, when I'm most probably one of the first guys that you ever interviewed. And you guys were saying, well, we're just going to keep on panning at this. And people, there's a lot of cynicism when you guys started. Oh, they ain't going to last. Everyone's laughing. And look at this, my Sri Lankan heavyweight friend and and, 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 and James, who, who looks like some mafioso, right? He does look a bit like a villain, doesn't he? He's, he's, he's looks like that. a Russian ultra. He does, he does. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> but just to see the fact that you guys have learned the power of, of, you know what I mean, making yourself, making the possibility, making yourself possible for the possibility to be possible. You've done that, and it keeps on growing, and I love iPhone. Big up. Thank you very much, Spencer Fira.